there is no official record kept for sea surface temperature. But if you look at some official buoys run by national agencies, we've never seen a record breaking event like this before. I mean, 101.1 degrees Fahrenheit, that's never been measured before. But there are some questions with that record. And there's some good reason to believe that it might have been a few degrees cooler than that. This is a hot tub. I like my hot tub around 100, 101. And that's what was recorded in Manatee Bay yesterday. Maybe it was only 99, but that's a pretty good hot tub temperature too. I mean, if you want a free hot tub and you live in Florida, you can go down there. I mean, you could look at these temperature measurements and say, oh, you know, we're questioning whether they're valid or not, but the proof is in the impacts. The corals are not happy with this level of hot water. They are bleaching. A lot of them are dying, I've heard too. And these hot waters extend to great depth. I've seen some measurements of 90 degrees Fahrenheit down at the level of the reefs. And that is just unimaginable heat. And here we are only in July. I mean, we've got another couple months of peak heating to go. It might be the case, I think it's probably be the case that 10 years from now, this will be seen as a relatively quiet summer, certainly a relatively cool summer because the heat that's going in the air isn't going away, it's increasing. We keep on putting more CO2 in the air. So that's our future.